You need to click something, I think. <laughs> All right. So anyway, you wrote me, uh, uh, Jenny, and you were you're telling me you're, you're having a lot of good results with clients. And yes. That, but you had one client that well, are you, uh, maybe you can explain it again to me, but she plugged into some kind of spiritual thing and got confused. Describe that a minute, would you please? Okay, sure. She is an intuitive healer herself. Okay. So when I supported her at that time, she told me that she had, you know, also being called to do this work to help others. For so many years, she'd done tons of healing. So she was committed. She loved the work or whatever. But that day, she said the night, the day before we talked, she suddenly got totally lost of herself. She didn't feel any passion, any feeling, any energy even wanting to do this work. She's like now, totally lost. Now, this, this is the day before you had a session with her. Yes. Okay. All right. All right go ahead. And then, yeah. Then she said, it's so weird. She was exhausted. She didn't want to do anything. She didn't say the word, but I can feel like I could feel like she was totally depressed. Okay. And she, she was confused because that was not her. She was confused because that was not her? Not her. Yeah, that was not real her because she okay. did a bunch of work, Facebook, posting, video, whatever. She really, really wanted to do the work badly. The work with you with Unseen Therapist? No, the work for herself, her okay. work to go okay. out to help right. people, help the world. All right. So far, what I'm missing, since at this point you have not had an Unseen Therapist session with her, I have done some un, a couple of uh, unseen therapist session with her before, but it was on other issues. But okay. that day, it was this issue we never had. Okay, and, and is she somehow, or are you somehow, relating that to unseen therapists, or is that just something that she did? Oh, that was because of me. I introduced this unseen therapist to work to her. We already got, whoa, you know, a moment a lot. So she also enjoyed it. Well, okay. This is, this is where I need clarification. Okay. So you've had some work with her before with unseen therapists, successful work apparently. Yes? Yes, for okay. other issues. Yes. For other issues. Yeah. Yes. And then you're going to have a session coming up the next day. Yes. The, day, the day before that, she then has this uncomfortable experience. And, yes. and you are thinking that it's unseen therapist has caused this. Am, am I hearing that right? I don't know. I would say more, uh, more pre uh, precisely, it was like something deeply in the root now got brought up. Or she was triggered by something, then that trigger brought something up. But it's the same. You know, something at deeper level got brought up now. Okay. But you are, if I got it right, if I got it right, you are making the assumption that because you've done some unseen therapist work, that unseen therapist is somehow behind this particular issue that comes up. Maybe I was not exactly sure before I started. Okay. Well, that's why I wanted to be sure. It could be. It could be. Okay. Yes. But yes. It, it could also just be something else in her life triggered her yes. on something. And, and here we are. Yes. Okay. So we don't, we don't really know. I mean, we can't really say whether unseen therapist is kicking stuff, is bringing stuff up in the background or not. We don't know that because there is no direct thing about that it could be just somebody yes. said something on the phone she remembered something and then off we go okay yes okay all right all right okay i i, I just want a clarification on that so so not, now describe what it was that she was going through okay 
uh, as I said just now, she just felt totally, you know, uh, got, you know, off. It's she like felt, she I'm, sorry, I'm sorry, got got off of her life. You know, she got mm -hmm. lost. Okay, she didn't totally. Have energy. Okay. To do anything, she didn't want to even do the work that she loves to do anymore. She doesn't want to take any actions, and she just feels like you know, uh, suddenly she got lost and she didn't know why. Okay. And so you, you knew that because you met with her the next day and she tells you about that. Yes. Okay. So what did you do with your session then? Did you just talk about it? Did you try to aim at it? What, what did you do? Then I just started with her, you know, uh, as what we did in the previous couple of sessions, I guided her from a breathing exercise and then invite her to, you know, come to her centered place in her mind, like a visualizing this separated self that I learned from your course. And she, as a healer herself, it's open to that. She was not offended by calling herself separated. For some people, I feel like they feel offended. So I just guided her to close her eyes and started to see that image. And then started to, you know, bring some, you know, loving moments, you know, into her mind into her being but before she even could think about any loving moment she said it's weird she saw in her mind a weird image it's like you know uh, with the head and the face you know like a, a, a wrapped without seeing the face, but it's almost like wearing a cape. And she said, I absolutely feel this is kind of spirit. And kind not, of, what was the word? Kind of what? Spirit. Spirit. Okay. Yeah. It's not a good spirit. Okay. So she almost felt like that was the spirit that caused her situation her earlier situation the first the day before which was yes. still there when you talked to her yes during it's her almost like she wanted to go out showing herself do the work being be the light to help others but now you know some spirit came to stop her or attack her or something like that all right well, uh, uh, let me ask you, the, the, your session with her, we had the visualization and the unseen therapist and all of that. Did yes. it seem to help or not? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Later on, for sure. And so and so she no longer has the lost feeling or is still there to some degree or what? Uh, that was when. Uh, no, that was gone. Oh. So after, after, you know, finally, when she saw that image and then we continued with the unseen therapist, you know, invitation yeah. and allow her to work for her. And gradually that, that was short, like several minutes, five, six minutes later, that, it, that spirit was gone. She didn't talk about that spirit anymore. And then she had some clarity that uh, in her entire life, she almost always felt that was something like when she started to feel good, you know, the door is opening up for her ahead. Then she suddenly felt like cut off. So that's okay. the word she used, the cut off herself. Okay. So she said that was brought up after we dealt with that spirit okay but the 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 feeling of being 
off or lost or went away with your session. You're telling me that. Yeah. Okay. All right. But and, that, then, and let me add it. Let me add. So that was gone. The the score went down. That was because when we uh when we done uh, uh did unseen therapist work, it brought up two deep incidents that she didn't think it was there. So okay. we dealt we dealt with those two incidents. And after those work, finally at the end of session, the feeling of lost, feeling of depressed without energy was gone. She felt that she went back to neutral state and okay. she, she was back to herself. All right, good. All right, let me, let me uh, thank you for that, Jenny, because that points up a number of things. And, and so let me just speak a little bit about what I, I wasn't there, of course, but what seems to happen, at least as I see it. All okay, right. yeah. The idea of addressing this off, depressed, lost feeling with unseen therapy, and then you get two incidents or specific events coming up, that to me is unseen therapist saying, ah, oh, you know, take a look at this. He's telling yes. you where to go. Oh, yes. Okay. Now, yeah. so you deal with those and you get the result and that's great. All right. Wonderful. Now, what I think is happening here, because I see this with some frequency, mm -hmm. just about every student we have, in fact, just about everybody who is aiming themselves at spiritual awakening and so on. Okay. Also deals with this, although they don't really realize it. So let me just talk about this okay. for a minute. Okay. Okay, great. If you remember my book, The Unseen Therapist, in there yes. I talk about the belief in separation, which is erroneous. We're really all one, part of a oneness that we're unaware of. All right. Yeah. This is proven by quantum physics and all of that. So the world that we seem to see is an illusion, a very convincing one, we're, but we're running around inside of a dream of our own making is what yes. that is. Okay. Now, as part of that, this belief in separation, at least the way we define it, this is not necessarily how Freud defines it. We develop an ego. In our definition, the ego is the same thing as this belief in separation. And this ego does not want to go away. Okay. Yes. It wants to keep you right here in this dream, right here in this belief, oh, because yes. the ego, if you start to really get to oneness and your client starts to get to oneness, you know, and starts to get to this beautiful other place, even if you get a little bit there, the ego sees itself as dying. OK, yes. it sees itself as being useless, fading away, which and it's nothing more than a mental fiction anyway, although it seems so very convincingly real. OK, yes. yes. So the ego is extraordinarily clever at knocking you off track. So when people start to really get there, it gets so, so sometimes heavy, like depression and loss and stuff you're talking about, although that's that's usually a. I don't see that very often, but often I, the client or you or me or whatever will get distracted. Oh, you you don't want to do that thing. It doesn't work anyway. Uh, uh, yeah, but you you listen. You've got some other things to do today besides this. Okay, so look at your things to do, uh, and it does. It is very good, very good at distracting, <laughs> keeping you off track, and so on. Okay. Yes. Yes. That's why I keep pounding on that point in our advanced optimal EFT course of which you are a member. And so we always have to keep looking at this thing and realizing <laughs> that our own ego system is trying to knock us off the track. Okay? Oh, yeah. And so here to me is a good example of that. Now, you brought in NC therapist, put her back on the track. It wouldn't surprise me if something else knocks her off the track and oh, yeah. knocks you off the track because you were telling me you were having a similar yes. thing. Okay. Yes. yes. Um, and so on. So it's, it's not something to be criticized. It's something to be observed. 
It's mm-hmm. just what our egos do. I'll give you an example. I'll give you an example. Um, people sometimes will say to me, or they will compliment me in some fashion. Oh, mm-hmm. Gary, that, uh, this is good. That's good. Whatever. Okay. And when it does, my ego does a little dance. Oh, good. Aren't you good, Gary? Yes. Everybody's ego does that. Okay. We, uh-huh. we, we love compliments and forms of love and da, 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 all, all of that. Yeah. <laughs> Eventually, you get to the point. Uh, this is where I've gotten so far. Okay. Mm-hmm. As I climb my stairway to miracles like everybody else is doing. Okay. Is when my ego is doing its dance. I'm just sitting back sort of giggling at it. And I just wait. Let me know when you're done. Let me know when you're done. And then we can, <laughs> <laughs> and we can get on with it, you see. Okay. And, and so, and now we're getting something a little heavier, but really beautiful mm-hmm. is, is when this compliment comes. Yes, my ego does this little dance, but now what I'm getting better at, see that compliment is meant as a form of love. It's meant mm-hmm. for that, okay? Yes, yes. And now my ego, instead of going, nah, 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 my ego is allowing me to receive it. And that's a big, big move. Many okay. of us have, have a very difficult time truly receiving love. Yeah, good point. Yes, yes. We tend to like push it away. I love it. We, we yes. will pursue it on, on what we call human love, romantic love. Yeah. with our pets and our children and this kind of thing. We will mm-hmm. pursue that form of human love. Yes. But that's nowhere near the bigger love, the spiritual love. It's almost like you need two different words for it. Yes. Okay. The human love is nice. We pursue it. It's nowhere near. It's nowhere near the big one. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Okay. So anyway, let's shift for a moment. Because you also asked me in your email about you were having some kind of a similar type thing. Discuss that a little bit, could you? Okay, sure. Um, I have to add something before I share the experience from this session. At the beginning of my work before, many years ago doing EFT or so, I did feel like sometimes I could be triggered by uh, client issues. Then later on, I learned that was because something inside of me was still there. So I learned to clear whatever. So this time, that's why when I used OEFT, did the same thing, and I had that thing got triggered inside of me, got triggered, and I knew some spiritual part was in me as well. So now let me describe. So when I you know, became her staying there at that moment. Wait, 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 wait. wait. When you became her, meaning when you became your client? Yes. Okay, good. All right. When she said she got attacked by the spirit. Yes. So I became her and we invited the unseen therapist come in, join to do the work. So we assure that we didn't have expectation and attachment to outcome. We did nothing, not thinking, not analyzing, just stay there. And she brought one of her loving moments. I brought unseen therapist to love and I stay there. So interestingly, after like a couple of minutes, I started to see in my mind's eyes the clouds, very heavy clouds with red and the black color. And that clouds were not really quiet, smooth piece floating like normal time I see in the blue sky. That was almost kind of a cloud, storm clouds. So mm-hmm. with red and the black. And then when I saw that, I started to understand what she said about the bad spirit or, or she said enemy spirit. Mm-hmm. So, okay. And then at the same time, I felt strongly around my body. I felt like those kind of anxious energy or whatever energy, very heavy, tense energy yes. came to me. 
came to me as well. Yes. So I, when I did this, I knew that I was there for her. So that's why I shared with her when we came, we went back after this moment. I told her, I said, I saw that. She said she did feel that as well. But then minutes later, it went away. So I shared with her that I saw that cloud, storm clouds, and the back and red colors, and also the intense, the energy sensation around me. I said, honestly, I felt it for you, but I cannot tell even. It's also mine as well. So I, I could not differentiate from her energy or my energy, my ego thing or what, but definitely I felt it. What was the last phrase? I definitely felt it. I oh, definitely felt I, it. Okay. Yes. Okay. All right. Now, I've had this kind of conversation before with others. Uh, oh. I, I don't know if it necess- what I'm going to say necessarily applies to you. Okay. I think it does. That's why we have a conversation. So we can okay. start there. Okay. Yeah. On the one hand, although this, this is uncomfortable for you, yes. And if I recall your email, it took you a day or two before, finally, before it finally totally faded Am I, for you. Okay. Yes. Um, on the one hand, this is good. This is a good sign in that you are progressing spiritually to the point where the two of you really are one and you can pick up what it is she's feeling. Okay. You're, 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 you're coming into oneness, a form of oneness when you do that. Now, I personally don't ever get anything like that at all. Okay. That doesn't mean I'm not into oneness and getting there. It's just, I don't get that experience myself. And in a way, I'm jealous of you because that way you can know more and more and more about what your client is really feeling than just hearing their words. Okay. Okay. That's the good news. That's the good okay. news. Okay. Yeah. Um, the, and, and people who have done that, by the way, will then do some unseen therapist sessions for themselves with unseen therapists asking to get relief on this particular problem. Yes. Like I would really like to know what the client's really feeling because it helps me help the client. Yes, 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 yes. But do I have to have it this heavy? (laughs) Uh, Do I have to go feel, do I have to have their headache? Do I have to have their backache, you know, or, or whatever? Uh, And that's often been successful because they end up, being able to sense, still sense what's going on without mm, having to carry around, you know, some physical or or other ailment as a result of that. So I would do some sessions like that for that purpose. And chances are you're going to get some insulation from it. Now, the other thing um, about that is... Going back to our previous earlier conversation, that could also be the ego saying, see, you get really good at this and you're going to (laughs) hurt. Yes. You hear it? (laughs) Yes. Okay. And so, 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 you know, you're, 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 (laughs) don't go there. (laughs) (laughs) Yeah. That's why what I felt like it's my spirit that's attacking me from doing this work well it's not your spirit it's your ego (laughs) yeah ego okay yes okay well now do i know this for sure no 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 i just had i just had a number of conversations it makes sense yes yes uh because the ego is good ego is good and and the better you get at this the egos it it, think about it the ego just does not want to die and it thinks it's going to (laughs) die and it's right it's right if you really get there the ego doesn't it just fades it becomes a joke, yeah. even though it's very, very real in this convincingly real but fictitious dream. Yeah. Anyway, I hope that helps. <laughs> oh, yeah. Yeah, 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 for sure. All right. And, and can, can I add something? Maybe you will continue to talk about this 
maybe I jump in, but uh, when you said this is a good thing, so I appreciate that, and I also thought that way. But on the other hand, I know that I am like many of us people. We are empaths, empathic. Empathic, yes. Yeah, I just am so easily to absorb people's energies. I knew that I have worked on myself to set up some boundaries, to protect myself, to shield. So that was also the other reason. I just let in these energies. And the other uh, that day after the session, I still felt it because also because my husband was watching TV, there was world news or whatever, that kind of energy and I matched the vibrations I, you know, like uh, took from hers, absorbed from hers. Now it all, you know, stay together. So I just felt it strongly. So yeah. that's why I had to do several unseen therapist sessions to help myself. Finally, it went away. One thing you might want to do uh, within our practice group facility mm -hmm. is you might want to say something about, hey, I'm an empath. You could even say I was you know, even start your own your, your own practice group. OK, mm -hmm. I'm an empath. I was talking to Gary about the ego and the da, 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 And I'd like to work with other empaths. Uh, and let's see if we can't get the <clears throat> benefit of being able to tune in and be and sense what's really going on with the client. But who needs who needs all the other stuff? And let's see if we can't do some group or joint unseen therapist sessions to help give us that insulation, give us the benefit, but not the problem. OK, thank you for that. Yeah. Great and idea. I would I would love to know what happens with that. OK. OK, great. Because not everybody's an empath. We do have empaths. And I've, that's why I've had this conversation before. It's always with empaths of one kind or another. OK. Um, Sherry Baker, uh, whose name you know, she's the director of my. Yeah, yeah, yeah I, I know. Yes. Okay. Um, is also an empath and picks up all that stuff. Um, mm -hmm. And she's gotten to a point now where, where it's less and less of a problem. Okay. So I, I know it's doable. I know it's doable. Great. Okay. 